a very busy business week for FMDQ Autism Securities Exchange finished off on Friday, technically on Saturday really. It's a week-long activities marking the fifth anniversary of the specialized financial institution, if you want to call it that. Yes, uh, Kodi Ugoji is here. She's the associate director, uh, executive director in charge of uh, corporate development at FMDQ. Good morning. It's good to have you. Congratulations. And uh, you can... S yes, we can. Thank you for... Uh, honoring us. Thank you, Boston, and thank you for the congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so it's been a very busy week, and we've had quite a number of folks talk about the, 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 the past, uh, where the road leading to the moment. Um, folks will be asking, what is next for FMDQ? Okay, um, what is next for FMDQ? Um, uh, if we look at maybe in the next five years, since we're looking at a five years um, um, a picture right now, um, I would say that we will, we will want to, first of all, even capitalize on some of the um, innovations that we've brought into the market um, currently, and even then begin to drive further to, to get the financial markets gold, globally competitive, operationally excellent, liquid, and diverse. And I think that is our agenda for the market. Um, one of the things I would be looking at in, in the near term would be derivatives. Um, we've been talking about the derivatives market and coming up with products to make that market, you know, more, um, to make that market thrive. And um, we're going to be coming up with some products, interest rate derivatives in the, in the, in the coming months. And that's a big area for us. We think that it's important um, to have that derivatives market to give the financial market, market the depth that it needs um, in, the, in the coming period. One of the other things that's big for us now as well is education. Um, again, coming up with new products and new innovations without understanding in the market would be a futile um, exercise. Who, who needs to so, understand? Who yeah. needs the education? Uh, headline inflation rate, the monetary policy rate. Would we have uh, some derivatives tied to currency? Yes. Okay. So for the interest rate derivatives, we'll be looking at, for instance, um, bond futures, um, treasury bills futures from the fixed income side. Um, but yes, we would also be looking at some currency derivatives in the in the in the low, medium short to medium term as well, because it's necessary um, for hedging. We're looking at just coming up with hedging products um, to help um, everyone in the market hedge against the risk exposures in the market. So nothing sophisticated immediately, but enough for people to be able to take, you know, positions and plan um, for their businesses. Uh, but again, uh, I'm sure the exchange is not uh, taking its eyes off the of his uh, building blocks, which are basically the FGN bonds, the corporate bonds, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. CPs and, 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 and others. Products. Definitely not. Our markets currently cover fixed income, currency, and derivatives. So whilst we're, we're building on what we have, like you said, the building blocks, but we're not taking our eyes off any of those, we will continue to innovate in the fixed income space. Um, and like I said, for the fixed, that's why we're focusing on fixed income derivatives, because it then even helps to deepen the fixed income market. So definitely, um, we will continue to focus on what we've done so far in the fixed income market, we're definitely going to be coming up with more products um, in that market, but we're going to be looking to expand this towards derivatives because that's as far as, as the market can go. You know, the market has um, um, 
the market can go even further than where it is right now. We think that derivatives can get it to the next phase, really. Some of the conversations we've had with a few folks this week had to do with how the FMDQ exchange, the Securities Exchange, has been able to help the government over the last five years in very difficult economic and financial terms uh, of, for the government to uh, help with the euro bond, with the narrow bond, with the spate of uh, monthly offerings uh, by the debt office, whether it's the service bond or the regular monthly narrow bond paper? Um, yes. Um, what was the feedback here from the DMO, from market dealers and investors? Um, yeah, the DMO, I think that FMDQ has been able to work closely with the DMO on some of these products you've talked about, especially listing them on the exchange. For instance, the DMO has listed its Sukuk um, on FMDQ. Um, for the first time in history, it listed um, its euro bond on a Nigerian or a domestic um, securities exchange, and FMDQ was one of those exchanges. Um, again, green bond is another area that we've worked on um, with, with the DMO, and they've listed their green bond on FMDQ as well. So um, the DMO has been quite innovative in um, the products that it has come up with in terms of the, the raising capital for the government, and FMDQ has been um, quite working quite close with them to make sure that these products get the visibility um, and the transparency that they deserve on the exchange. This was uh, last week very heavy for you in terms of uh, other participants in the market, non-government institutions, investment banks and others who have had, uh, and corporate as well, who mm -hmm. have come to, to lease, whether commercial papers or they're doing uh, a direct bond on, on your exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, are you working on more of this coming coming through? It looks like mm -hmm. this club is expanding almost on a, on a daily basis. Um, yes, um, the, the essence for the essence and um, the key, the crux of it for us is not to have a club, is to open it up to everyone. We want um, the debt market to explode because that's one of the ways that it can unlock the potentials of the Nigerian economy. Um, there is an infrastructure dirt in Nigeria. There's room for um, you know raising capital long term in the market that can help to to fill these gaps in the market, housing, um, um, power, and, 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 and a lot of other infrastructure issues. And those are some of the focuses of FMDQ, working with the participants, working with the government, working with the Family Homes Fund to come up with you know, viable ways to raise um, capital in the financial markets, in the capital markets that would unlock the potential of housing. Housing for Nigerians is one of the big things um, in the future of FMDQ as we go along to work with all the participants to make sure that we can unlock that potential that the Nigerian um, economy has. Oh, already you have the NMRC. Correct. Already we have the NMRC who had already listed um, some of its securities on FMDQ to support um, the refinancing of mortgages um, in Nigeria. That's one. But then again, even um, funding the building of um, low cost or reasonable cost housing for, for Nigerians is another significant way that we can help this market. So we're working with key participants in those areas, especially with the federal government, to, to unlock these potentials in housing and power. What was the feedback? throughout last week till the awards on Friday. Unfortunately, I missed that. I wish I was there uh, to get this handshake. But then, uh, my apologies, uh, I got to do some productions here. But uh, what's the feedback from, from, from market participants looking at, yes, thank you very much. You folks have done well. You guys have had a very uh, stable board over the last five years. Of course, you had a succession on the board, which has been very stable, smooth transition, and all of that. But in terms of the management, what is the uh, new? what are the new things that folks will uh, whisper to you or to Bola and the rest of the team? Hey, this is what we want to, to see more uh, on this platform. Okay. Um, interestingly, last week, uh, as, as you know, we had a couple of um, activities through the week. And on November 7, which was our actual anniversary day, our fifth anniversary, and we had um, a couple of, we had some people in the ex in exchange place to commemorate that day with us. We had the Emma of Kanu, um, His, His Royal Majesty uh, Mohammed Sanusi II um, at the exchange. And we had our former, um, um, our former uh, chairman of FMDQ, and we had a couple of people who had worked from inception on FMDQ. Our pioneer chairman, Mr. Aigi Mokwede, um, Aki Daudu, um, the country officer of, of Citibank, who all were at the inception 
um, and in one way or the other supported the birth of FMDQ. The SEC as well was there. And we, 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 we worked, we, we had a good time with them, just basically reminiscing um, over some of the, th the, 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 the starting points of FMDQ. But the message from all of them was clear. FMDQ cannot rest on its laurels right now. FMDQ, the, the expectations for FMDQ is huge. And whilst they believe that FMDQ has done well so far, they believe there's so much more that FMDQ can do. And they hampered on the derivatives market, for instance, that, um, and, and charged FMDQ to come up with, you know, extending the market into that area to create um, hedging products for the market. Again, on Friday at the Gold Awards, we had the central bank governor, uh, Mr. Mefele, as a uh, special guest of honor. And in his speech, he again charged FMDQ not to rest again. So I guess the, the message for us is Everyone you've is done well, you but you need to do more. Not to rest. Yes, because there's a lot to do. And we think quite, so as well. Amazing. We know there's a lot to do. And we're not settling on what we've done so far because we can still see that the future still has a lot for us to do. And I think the message is clear from all the market participants. And they are willing, I think the, the big part of the message is they are willing to work with us and to collaborate with us and to support us in achieving this mission of making the Nigerian fi financial markets gold. It's a big agenda, but I think we have the support of the market. So it's something that is achievable. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations. Thank uh, you. In the next five thank years, you. let's have this handshake again. Yes. Uh, that will be the tenth anniversary. <laughs> tenth anniversary. Thank we you. look forward to congratulations. that. Congratulations. Uh, and much, all the best Wilson. to the rest of your team. Kadi Ugoji, Associate Executive Director in Charge of Corporate Development at FMDQ, OTC Securities Exchange. What's the big story this morning? It all ended on Friday at the Africa Investment Forum, the inaugural transaction only. Big meeting in South Africa, Johannesburg, of course, the uh, location. Nigeria was there in full force, represented by the Vice President, Professor Yemi Shibajo. But we're yet to have any news from the government or anyone else who attended the meeting of any transaction that Nigeria sealed. According to the EFDB, about 45 investment deals were secured worth 32 billion U.S. dollars. With all the announcements coming through through to the weekend, we're yet to have a word from the Nigerian authorities if we secured any deal at this very important Pan-African meeting. Meantime, we have a very busy week ahead of us. The Statistics Office will start a bit of economic data from tomorrow with the petrochemical, which you call the oil and gas, LPG, automotive gas, petrol products, and transportation data. The next week is the big story, the October CPI and inflation uh, data. Then, of course, if you are interested in the euro bond, you should be interested, don't you? We're borrowing 2.8 billion US dollars from the global debt market. And, of course, that bond, on conclusion, will definitely find its way to FMDQ, where Cody Ugoja and the rest of our team, uh, so, so they, are, they have an interest in this ratio as well. So London is the destination where some of the financial uh, advisors are put together at this uh, meeting for Nigeria's Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, to lead the government team to talk to investors about the new Eurobond. We're keeping an eye on that from London for you throughout this week. Meantime, the uh, SEC uh, fourth quarter capital market committee meeting uh, will take place in Lagos uh, later this week. The Guardian of Securities Market Exchanges, the NESD, the FMDQ, the Nigerian Stock Exchange, uh, the African Exchanges, and the rest of them uh, will be meeting together. The big picture will be the 10-year Nigeria Capital Market Roadmap, which was launched in November 2014. It's been four years of this 10-year roadmap. We have updates on that. Uh, meantime, the uh, presidential hopeful on the Social Democratic Party and former Cross River State Governor Donald Duke have told the Nigerian government not to focus on salary increase only to solve the problems of civil servants. He says the best approach uh, to solve this lingering problem of minimum wage increase is to address the real needs of civil servants and enlisted food, housing, transportation, health, education, and security as priorities rather than focusing on salary increases. We'll be right back after the break. We're watching Business Morning. We have a lot to talk about on the macroeconomic front for the current business week. Stick around. Thank you.